establish an international office in Windsor that's going to facilitate uh, clinical trials and research. Uh, the, the goal is to actually um, take a clinical trial that's currently running and run it um, on both sides of the border. Part of the challenge, a large part of the challenge we have with that is getting tissues that Lisa is taking, getting these tissues from our patients and getting them across the border. That opens up all of the labs in, in the United States for us, for them to do testing on ours, to, to develop this personalized medicine. But also it, um, it allows us to, to take our tissues over there, but also to take the tissues over here and do our, our research on this side of the border as well. It's really trying to decrease the, the border as, as a, a block in research. Right. So I mean, a lot of the things are that there's two different ethics boards. There's, you know, there's a great deal of red tape that surrounds even just research in general. It, it's difficult, but between two different countries, it's almost unheard of to have a clean corridor of research. And this would really be a first. It would be a first for our country to have a, a, an office where we're doing international research in this type of way. And we really are uniquely positioned because we're literally 15 minutes away. I mean, we're closer to some of those cancer centers than most of the people that work there, right? And so it's an amazing opportunity for us. It's also an opportunity for them because we have unique funding opportunities here and they have unique funding opportunities on that side of the border and it's, it's a win-win.